Hi, and welcome to the Trucking Scribe. It's Esther. Today I'm working with this little folio. It has a little ribbon on it, and it opens up. It has uh, signatures, pocket, and I'm using the digital kit from Beauty and Books, her Victorian Spring Edition. So I hope that you enjoy the video. Um, let me know what you think about this kit. It is really nice. Beauty and Books. It's her Victorian Spring kit. And I just have a few of the pages. I will put up in the corner a full view of these. Now this one I printed two to a page because of the way I'm going to use it. This one too I printed two to a page, which there are some, and I did see them, that are smaller like this, but I've already printed these, so they are absolutely beautiful. So Kathy, at Kathy's garden yesterday, so what Kathy did was, she has two envelopes, so I have two. One she opened all the way across and down, so you could open it like this. The other one had a flap. I cut this. I'm going to put a flap on it. And so what I'm going to do is tear this old one off. So this will go in there. But what I want to do is I would like to have the signatures put in here without I would like about an eight inch thing, eight inch journal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one down to eight inches. Okay, I got this little flap. I'm cut this one to eight. And I'm gonna keep the window in it too. So when Kathy did hers, she didn't have this extra window. But what I'm thinking about doing is this one. Putting it in here. I think that would be a really pretty one to put right there. So I'm gonna cut that out and then we will we will do that real quick. Just gonna make sure where I want it. I'm gonna just use my fairly arts today. So I'm putting glue right here. And then I'm gonna try and center it without making a mess. So I don't know, I want some of that, but I feel like Go up just a little bit. Yeah. It needs to get up just a little bit more. There we go. That will work. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And I got glue. I should have my glue book out. So that's one. This one, I'm just going to stick it down in there. So I'm wanting, wanting more of the grass and the trellis. So maybe something like that. Like that. Let's see if I can get some glue on it. No. Hmm. Get it organized if you need. Let's 
So I'm getting glue everywhere. Here we go. So this, I'm going to put a piece on the back to get it here so we can so I can open like that so I'm going to put a flat it's more right there but that means I want to cut some off on this edge you know since I'm adding a flap I think I'm going to do because I want this to fold inside and then this fold over I just made it a little bit shorter so right there So I'm just going to take, I was looking for some washi tape, but I can't find any. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these two together. That way they don't quite fall apart. And I think I'm going to leave a little gap on this side for, for it to fold a little bit easier. I don't know if it will. We'll find out. And this is just strengthening it too. So over here, I do want to cut off some of that. So while I'm taking ideas from Miss Kathy, I'm also just trying to come up with my own things as we go here too. No, that's not working because I got too much under there. What we'll do is when we cover this flap, I think I will So what I'm gonna do back here on the back, I want this to reach across to the other side. Yeah. And then we're going to collage this part. But I think I do want a little bit of tree. Or do I want that on the back? I want it on the front. I'm just going to come up to that edge. And you know, because I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm going to cover it up. So then what I want to do is see if I can't fold this right here where it's not wanting to fold for me. There we go. So I'm going to have to trim off a little bit. And then I can go ahead and I'm gonna glue this part down. Make sure I get the edges. And what I'm probably gonna do is sew around this before I Get me further. So I was hoping to not have to worry about this section buckling up like that. It does look like that doesn't. I'm wondering how to do this without it buckling and getting all yucky like that. Maybe if I get close and not all the way in there. Well, 
I'll recover that section. You all may not see any of this. I just don't want it to buckle right here. And I'm just going to put some more scotch tape right here, which just to kind of cover that up. So I didn't put any glue right here. It doesn't look too bad. It looks better than this other side. So now I'm kind of looking at what I'm going to put right here around that part. It's probably going to be one of these. I like the blue. The blue shows their dress well. Let's see if I can get this to do to um, have a mark under it, so I can just cut that out of the window. Like I want it to be. I want this over here just a little bit. So I'm just going to trace this around. Not because I want to cut this this person in the middle, but I want to cut that out right here. I can see it. Barely see it. Now I'm trying to do like a pencil and see if I can see that thing. And a little bit if I hold it to dry. Let's see what I'm looking at here. Actually, not too bad. Okay. So I do want to put glue here so I can hold that down. Hang on. I don't want to do that. I want to fold it first and then glue the other side like we did the other one. It's not easy. So I did I did trim this down so I could 
easy just to fold over. I'm going to glue my card in here. I'm going to try not to put any in the fold and see how that works. That right there. This can go right here. So I want to put that there, that's too wide, but it will go under there. So I'm trying not to get too close to the crease right there with the glue, but yet get it in there so that it will... Oh, there's a secret to this some, some kind of way, and I don't know. Now, if I fold that in and then it's over, I guess we'll find out. Um, I still see that popping up some, but I'm just going I could bring this over and just cut it right there. How far that is. I'm gonna glue this one down. Okay. I was wondering if I could get this in here. And find some more green. I'm going to bring that one in just a little bit. And then I'm going to fold that over and just give it, give this a little more structure. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, so now what can I put right like there? Have enough scraps of anything? So I was thinking to close this up, but what if I do a I could do a plate right there, like an accordion to come out, then I'd want a bit more right there. Let's see what else I got over here.
So the sizes that I like for an accordion, I already have marked on here, which would be 3 8 by 3 and 1 and 1 eighth. So if I do this, I will need two. I'll actually be about right. I do want to cover that up if we're going to put accordion on it. I'm just going to trim this a little bit off. I'm going to plate my accordions. And so all I did was made like an M. And then I'm going to glue it right here so that that'll open. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on this side. I'm going to move it closer to the top because right here is our line, but I think it'll be all right at the top. So I fold that in, the middle part in, and the two outside back. So that when you're looking at it face up, it's a it's an M. Then we're going to put glue here, we're going to put glue there, and we're going to fold it up like this. So now we have like a little accordion pocket. Looks pretty good. And this closes it up. I like this. So I am finishing up this cute little folio for Beauty and Books. And it has turned out really nice. And so I'm going to put a signature in it and I'm going to use these pages that I've printed out. So I found this one. It's a scrap. I can go in there. I have just a white one. I can go in there. Then this, I fold it in half, and I'll stick it in here. Same thing here. And they're different widths on purpose because I want them to fit in in different spots. I was thinking about distressing this, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know where all my dobbing things are, so I guess I will use this. Actually, I do have two brush right here. So what I'm doing is I'm just kicking off some of this light. I don't know why it's so dark in here today or if it's just me. James is in there. He's on vacation from school this week. So if you hear little boy noises, that's what he's in there watching TV and jumping around. He's on spring break. So I just, I love doing this. This is a lot of fun for me. I, I like the end product. You know, and I had him close that door too. But he is watching cartoons. <laughs> and I just kind of moved this around. This is one of my favorites because it just comes out really good. You can put a lot or a little. I just... I don't like the square edges, so I try not to get over there too much. So we'll need that back in a minute. So when you fold this, 
it will fit in here like this. And then you put more pages on. So what's happening on this side is there's just a little flap, which is fine. We can have more too up there. So what I did here is let me trim that up. I cut this page in half so I would have two different pages. So I'm gonna have the same thing going on is that this is not going to be quite the same size. So I can choose to fold it completely in half. So this one I'm going to leave like this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it this way. So you see I'm just sticking it in here and kind of lining it. And you don't even have to do that. I'm just, I, I prefer to line it. It's just me. And then this one, I think I'm going to go from this side. So what I'm really trying to do right now is just get the top and bottoms to where they will look pretty nice. That one is crooked. Did I do that or did that do that itself? I probably trimmed it crooked. Not trimmed, but folded. Let's see. Still looks crooked. And I do have my little pieces here that I've been saving. What I'm looking for now is maybe a full front cover. Right, so this one would need to go like that and be folded. You see how I'm just kind of get an idea if I want to put it in there or, or not, which I think I am going to put this one in there just because it's it's pretty. I am going to put it in like this though so that those two are kind of holding it. Now that one's a little too big. See if I can shorten it just a little bit more. And then I was saying, what in the world is this woman doing? Okay. So what I'm looking at, I don't have anything that is quite as big. So let's see if I'm going to. I do want to turn some of these around. That one was not moving. So this one I'm going to put this way. Actually, I'm going to put this one that way because I like the full picture. And then, let's see. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to just move them around so there's different links in here. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll put that one in or not. That one's from one of my mind journals. Okay. I do want to stencil these first few pages. You kind of like that. There. But then again, I kind of wonder if I want to turn it like this.
You can see they're all different lengths. So it would open like this. I want that one in there. So I could do that. I'm going to put it up towards the front right here. Yep. So I'm going to fix my papers to where I want them. And so up or down, sideways, or whatever. I'm quite sure it is a good spot. Again, quickly. And I'm going to stick it right there. And then I'm going to come in. I put that down. I don't know where my big ones are. I don't think we're really going to need them now. So technically you could take your awl or your needle and punch these holes, but see right here? I'm coming out, I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. And I'm not necessarily measuring I'm just poking my three holes and I'm going to come in here and sew it. I'm going to go from the middle to the top. Maybe. I thought I was going to actually get in there at time without fighting with it. I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to come back in the middle to tie it off. It was hot in here, and it ain't even got summertime yet. It was probably in the 70s outside. But the room I'm in right now is facing the the sun in the summer, so it does get pretty warm in here, even with the air conditioner on. So now I'm going to take and put one of these under there. I check my I'm just going to tie a knot, uh, first a knot and then a bow, about that. I'm just going to turn this off, so whoever might get this, they can have the option of putting some dangles on if they want. So. So this will close up like this. Got a nice, beautiful. I did have a with a, a journal inside. Okay, so we still got a pocket right there. You could still put lots of stuff in here. I think I'm gonna leave it right here. You got this. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for stopping by. And it'd be great if you hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And everybody would greatly be appreciated if you left me some kind of a comment, whether it's a little heart or a smiley face or hey or something, so that I know you've been here. Because that's the only way I know you've been specifically. And I can go over to your channel if you have a channel and I can subscribe to you. Thank you guys and you have a great weekend.